say bye bye, Saray. Bye, bye. Bye. See you later. Hello guys, so I don't have an intro to this video and also I know this was long awaited I like have been procrastinating this video for so long and I don't know why but I wanted to finally get it up for you guys So my surgery was back in June, so keep that in mind But yeah, I wanted to show you guys my whole recovery and all of that So you're gonna see me going to surgery and throughout that whole week afterwards Also near the end of the video, I'm gonna be answering questions about the surgery and why I got in all of that I'm gonna show you guys my scars now that it's been around three months and how they're clearing up and stuff so stay tuned to the end to see that yeah i hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe and turn on my notifications to be notified when i upload but yeah i'll shut up now and let's go to surgery three months ago <laughs> hey guys it's currently 5 a.m and i'm on my way to surgery the surgery stands over there got her mask in i'm so Happy my mom's able to come in with me. Oh at my first, gosh, such a relief. At first oh. they were saying that she can't, so. Woo. So I have to go pee before my surgery and I look ridiculous. So I have to like bring this Girl, up. you look sexy. What you talking about? I want to get down now. Go this sorry. This is so weird. Bye bye. Go pee. Really I don't know. <laughs> Walk down the hall. Oh, the restroom's down there. Okay, bye. Bye. Say bye-bye, Saray. Bye, bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, my God. Bye-bye. Love, Love you. you. Love you. See you in an hour. Saray. <laughs> Saray is 215380 right there. And she's in... Oh, there's that. Doctor just came and reported that she did really, really, really good. Less than an hour, so we good. And look who I found, Grammy. So she switched. Here my baby is. <laughs> Her tummy is sensitive, she said. Say hi. How you feeling, Saray? My mouth is dry. And remember, you're gonna have that patch behind it, behind your ear and make your mouth dry. Oh, tired girl. So here's my baby, she's sleeping. She's tired. She was just eating crackers and juice, and then she knocked out. She said, peace out, no, no, I'm tired. But what they did do is, they gave her this little patch behind her ear. And apparently that's supposed to be for nausea. And she can keep that on for three days. A lot of times people get sick after surgery, they, they get some nausea, so that'll help them. I'll keep you guys posted on how she does. Swing your legs over to the side and just kind of sit at the side first, okay? Don't stand up yet. Nice and easy. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, just sit there for a sec. How you feeling? Sometimes when you sit up like that, your nausea might go away too because you're not all crunched up, huh? Yeah. Just sore. Sore. That's a big And you can do an ice patch to your tummy too Perfect. if you want. Don't run. <laughs> I'm tired, honey. At least it wasn't like your wisdom teeth. <laughs> when she came out of anesthesia with her wisdom teeth, she was like crying. A lot of people wake up some, you know, either wake up combative or just really, really like, I mean, they're talk and talk and talk and talk that's funny that you mentioned that my husband does not talk at all but after but after he got his surgery he was just chatting it up right? and giving everybody yes. hugs and yes, yes. <laughs> i was like what the heck chilling huh sorry mm -hmm. and i we're just waiting to get this out and then we're going to be able to go home mm -hmm. she just feels a little bit nauseous has to be expected until like the anesthesia wears off and she sounds like a raspy smoker. Say something, Sarai. Hi. <laughs> I look like a mess. I'm like swollen everywhere, it feels like. Oh, oh my, my stomach is so bloated. This is what my stomach looks like. It is so bloated because they filled me up with gas and it's still trying to like release. So they have an incision in my belly button, which is really bruised. 
right here and right here so it's not too bad but holy crap i feel so loaded oh my god especially from the side my mom's been helping me so much it's been so hard to like get back in bed i have to like move so weird if you want to get nervous because then it like starts to hurt i'm trying not to take a lot of pain medicines so I might take one like in a couple hours just so i can sleep uh, it's so hard to like not use your abs uh, like how the fuck did it how did i do this oh my god Ooh, it's like impossible for me to not use my abs yes i had some jolly ranchers oh I look like a complete mess. My hair looks like Post Malone. I'm not wrong. I pretty much slept through the night. I took some of the pain medicine last night because I wanted to get a good night's sleep. Now I'm just like really sore, but it's not like super bad. It's just like hard to get up on your own and stuff. My stomach is so swollen, I literally can't even breathe. <laughs> I also noticed I have another cut thing right there. So I have four incisions, which is crazy. I just noticed that. <laughs> I'm basically just been in my room. I got an Emerald City smoothie and now I'm just gonna watch the show Lost. I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday because I'm recovering. Okay, this is TMI, but I've noticed I've been burping a lot and I think it's from all of the like gas that they blew up in my stomach and now it's like trying to come out. So this is really TMI, but I'm also super constipated, which is normal when you're taking pain medicine. So yeah, I've been trying to walk around a bunch and get everything moving inside there it's not working i'll show you an update on my stomach that's my stomach right now it looks scary so i have these incisions and then my belly button the one that hurts the most is this top one and my belly button these ones don't really hurt that much yeah i can't wait until all this gas in my stomach is gone because this bloating is so uncomfortable but it honestly could be worse i've literally just been in bed watching netflix so that's pretty much it so exciting i'm also vlogging on my phone so sorry if that like bothers you so i'm literally leaving to go to vegas the day of my post op and then i'm probably gonna stay there for a while just because traveling and stuff i don't want to like come back and forth here to vegas because of the whole covid thing so i'm gonna stay put in vegas oh my goodness yeah that was my check-in hello guys so i barely like moved to be honest it's the next day so it's day three i'm trying not to take any pain meds because i'm so constipated it's like insane i'm sorry i actually got up and got my camera instead of using my phone um, it's a lot easier getting out of bed now, that is for sure. Also, I have this patch on my ear. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's for, like, nausea. I feel like I can take it out now. Ow, that's, like... Ow, my hair. Isn't that so weird that this little patch helps you not get nauseous? It's so weird. The incisions and stuff don't hurt. It's just, like, the gas pains hurt so much. And I was watching other people's vlogs of them getting their gallbladder out, and that was, like, their main thing, and... Uh, the day after, I had super bad shoulder pain from, like, them blowing my stomach up. And I feel like I weigh, like, 10 pounds heavier because there's so much gas in my stomach and just my body's just trying to recover. I'm, like, getting dizzy right now. My dad got me this, which is Miralax. It's just, like, a stool softener. So hopefully that gets it flowing, you know? Because it does not feel good right now. I took a dose of this last night and this morning. And I can feel some gurgling happening. I've been burping a lot. Whew, yeah. I feel like the surgery wasn't too bad, honestly. I'm happy. I'm gallbladderless. So literally my life is in re-watching the show Lost, which I used to be obsessed with. Just ordered some Panera. Why am I out of breath? I have a really bad headache. I think it's from not drinking any caffeine for the past, like, three days. I'm just now feeling it because I've been on pain meds. So now I'm like, wow, this really hurts. I got a chicken Caesar salad with extra chicken and avocado. No cheese. And then... Oh, it came with two breads. Cool. Got some butter. And then I got some broccoli cheddar soup, which is so bomb. I'm like obsessed with it. I'm so excited to eat this. I haven't really ate anything today. Let's see how my stomach digests this. I also had, uh, what did I have yesterday? I also had uh, cupcakes yesterday, which they say to like only drink like liquidy fluids. Oh my God, I feel like I have to poop right now actually. hello guys <laughs> so i look like a mess also yes i know i'm wearing a weed sweatshirt i always say this every time it's my friends okay and i stole it it's my comfiest sweatshirt ever i just wish it didn't have this on it but 
Anyways, it's been a week since my surgery and I thought I would do like a little update. This is what my stomach looks like. It's starting to go back to normal, which I'm happy about. It's just super bruised. I have like a new belly button now, I feel like. But yeah, it's super bruised, but it doesn't hurt that bad. I also had my first bowel movement, which was... Thank goodness. <laughs> I also ordered a new belly button ring because I couldn't find mine, but right when I got my new one, I found my hospital Ziploc bag with my old one in it. So now I got three. <laughs> my hair is like an actual complete mess. I'm back. I wanted to show you guys my scars and all of that. Here I am. I feel like they cleared up so well. There's my top one my side one and right here and then my belly button one I feel like you can't really notice it that much but I'm pretty happy with how the scars cleared up we are quick cr crooked so yeah I'm really happy about the way the scars like healed and stuff because in the beginning they were so bruised the whole story with my gallbladder it was super random when my mom was my age she actually had to get her gallbladder removed because she had a really bad gallbladder attack so in the end of May I Whenever I ate something, like salmon or something like high in fat, sometimes it was just like anything, I would have such bad back pain and like pain right here. And I honestly thought I was like going to have a heart attack because that's how bad the pain was. Like it was so bad. One night it was super bad. I had to go to the emergency room because I literally thought I was going to have a heart attack because when you're about to have a heart attack, apparently your back hurts and it's like really painful. And I was like, oh my God, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> um, it's not funny, but... That's what it felt like, and it was probably like one of the worst pains I've ever went through. So, I went to the hospital, and they did a ultrasound on me, and they could see a lot of sludge in my gallbladder. They also said that they think a gallstone went through, so that's why it was so painful. We didn't do anything that night. I just got some medicine and stuff like that. I tried to eat a really bland diet, and then I ended up seeing a specialist for gallbladders and stuff, and it was actually the lady that took out my mom's gallbladder like 20 years ago, and she highly recommended that I needed to get my gallbladder out just because I had a lot of sludge in there and she was just worried that I have another gallbladder attack and I was just like I might as well just get it over with now instead of have a gallbladder attack and then have to get emergency surgery. I was like okay I'll do it. It's middle of COVID. <laughs> so I ended up getting surgery a couple days later and honestly it wasn't bad at all the only thing that sucked was like being super constipated and bloated but other than that the pain wasn't bad but I also have like a high pain tolerance so it's kind of hard to tell oh my gosh guys oh one thing that I should have listened to my doctor about my doctor told me to only drink like liquids and like broth super easy foods that you can digest and you know, I didn't listen. I was like, wow, my gallbladder is gone. Like, I can eat whatever. About a week later, I ate Pizza Hut. I had two pieces of pizza. I had the, like, bread and the cinnamon sticks and some wings. Literally, I went all out. I did not care. And I'm telling you, it was the worst pain. Everything was still healing. And I was like, oh my god, I, like, messed the surgery up. So, if you get your gallbladder out, listen to your doctor. Don't do that. I ended up like throwing up a whole bunch and then I felt better afterwards, but whoo, that shit hurt <laughs> so bad. Um, but other than that, I went to my post-op, everything looked amazing, and then I ended up going to Vegas and yeah, I feel like I covered everything. If I'm forgetting something, definitely ask it below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Finally, this video is up and... I'm not like constantly thinking about it in the back of my head because like literally I would be thinking about how I need to get this video up and it's like three months later but I guess it's good because now you guys can see like where I'm at now and my like scars and stuff but I literally have no problems with like eating. The only thing I just get kind of bloated depending on the foods that I eat. Mostly like dairy and gluten which sucks but I think that's everything. I'm not sure but if you have any questions leave them below and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm gonna go back to normal vlogs on Sunday. Stay tuned for Sunday's vlog because Jalen and I may be looking at houses. So yeah that's all I'm saying. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!